What's up, America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we've got a really cool video because we are going to review the Springfield Armory TRP 1911. Super cool gun. Let's check it out. I'm not a big uh, 1911 guy, but I do enjoy shooting them. It's not something I would carry for self-defense or anything like that, but an opportunity to shoot them, I'll never pass up. And this one is on loan. And this one is... Uh, this is the, the race model of guns, so to speak. This has got it all, so super cool. I actually printed out the uh, sheet so that we can talk about the specifics because, of course, I'm a striker fire gun, and so basically it means it's got a trigger, and whatever happens to it, it's going to go bang. A little different here. This has got all types of cool features, so let's dig into it. So first of all, the checkering itself uh, on the front strap is 20 lines per inch, and it is very, very, very aggressive. There is no two ways about it. Just when you hold it in your hand, you can feel the uh, the traction on the front. You got that in the camera. And then uh, also the same deal on the back. It is very, very aggressive. The, I mean, just the appearance of it is ridiculous. It's an awesome looking gun. There's no, no two ways about it. Um, you can see here that the, the G10 grips, they are also very textured. Uh, again, great traction. The... Uh, magazine release here has got a nice little cut out there so you can easily get that. I'm going to show you here in a second, but it shoots magazines probably as well as it shoots actual bullets. It's, uh, it's, it's extremely spring-loaded. It has an aluminum adjustable trigger. Uh, pretty common on many 1911s that you can adjust it, but, but this trigger is ridiculous. I'm not trying to show you the reset right here on film. So, so here we go. We're going to press the trigger on this bad boy. And then... Wreck the slide. Check this out. I mean, that thing is ready to go again. That's ridiculous. Now, Springfield says it's a four and a half to five pound trigger. I mean, that's the lightest four and a half pounds I've, I've, I've shot. I'll tell you that much. The other nice thing about this is the magwell. So, hopefully you can uh, get a good view of that. But that magwell is... <laughs> ridiculously beveled there. I mean, if you can't find the the magazine well with that thing, you you got uh, you got bigger issues. The other thing that makes this part of the tactical package, the T TRP, by the way, just so I didn't cover that yet, but the TRP stands for Tactical Response Pistol. Uh, this rail down here, so you can you can attach whatever gadget you want, lights, lasers, dishwashers, whatever the case may be. So we have ambidextrous uh, safeties here. We also have a enhanced uh, extended beaver tail here, so you can get a really good. Uh, as soon as you touch this gun, I mean, there's it would be <laughs> you have to try to shoot the thing from down here in order to miss that. So super easy to disengage that. This does have night sights on it, and again, nothing on this gun has been upgraded. This is exactly as it comes from Springfield, so I want to be clear on that. But it does have uh, tritium, tritium uh, sights, night sights. It is, of course. See if the camera can pick it up here. It is adjustable, okay? It only comes in 45 ACP, no 9mm op. This is kind of the Mercedes of guns here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a cheat sheet here so I don't miss anything good. Obviously, it's uh, got a five inch stainless barrel, but it's also match grade. It weighs 42 ounces. Again, I already told you, it has combat profile three dot tritium sights. Uh, two piece NM full length guide rod. I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, I'm sure it has something to do with increased accuracy and performance of the gun. It does have, and I will show you guys here, oops. It does have a uh, bushingless bushing there, so not, the, not your traditional bushing that you take out of a 1911. This one, uh, about a quarter of the way, there's a little hole right here. And that's where you put like a, when the first time I took it apart for the person that I borrowed this from, we used a paper clip, but um, something that goes inside there to take tension off so that we can disassemble the gun. Since we're talking about takedown, I'm the first to tell you it's freaking ridiculous. I'm a striker fire guy, like a matter of seconds, it looks like the gun falls apart. This is a pain in the rear. You got to have a, a tool put in there and I'm just not a 1911 guy in that matter. But for those of you that don't care and just want a 1911, it doesn't get better than this, but takedown is a little bit of a beast. 
I'll be honest with you, I'm not even gonna take it apart on this film because it's just it's just a pain in my, my rear end. For those of you that are into the details of 1911s, this one has a forged national match frame and slide. All I can tell you is this all adds up to a gun that should be ridiculously accurate at pretty much any distance. It has a crazy light crisp trigger with an amazing reset. And the gun is just set up to perform, as simple as that. And this is, I mean, just in dry fire, it's got, uh, I mean, that trigger is crazy light. Now, I will tell you how this gun comes, which is kind of unusual. It comes with uh, two magazines. It comes in this nylon uh, Springfield, which we're going to talk about in a second. But it comes in this, uh, this uh, nylon pouch. It has two magazines with little slam plates on the bottom. They're seven rounds a piece, obviously stainless. You can take the base plates off. They're not, they're not welded or anything. So if you wanted to add, you know, additional plus two, plus three, whatever base plates to them, you certainly can. And again, these pouches are literally, they're Velcro. So you can put them and arrange them any way you want inside here. Now, I don't know, uh, again, if this is, again, I, this gun is on loan, so I don't know if it came in something else. But this is kind of weird, I'll be honest with you. It comes in a nylon case, which isn't bad, but check this out. So this is my XDM. Uh, I've got several of them. They all come in these hard plastic cases with dual latches and dual locks, which is a much better case, in my opinion, than this gun, except I could buy almost two of these for one of these. So... Maybe it does, and I'm dead wrong, and it comes in a plastic nice case or something, and this is what uh, I got with the gun uh, from my loaner. But if that's the case, that's a little that's a little wonky. As I said earlier, the magazine release is the, the spring is pretty strong. So even if I had this uh, load, I mean, as long as I have the gun level, that thing pretty much will shoot completely out. So getting uh, a magazine stuck in there is not going to be a problem. And the well is awesome. You can really get the magazines in there quick. So let's just do what I do best because it's obviously not 1911 reviews, it's shooting. Let's go take this uh, out and see what it'll do. As you can see, we're pretty dedicated. I got snow almost up to my knees here. I don't know, 10 to 20, something like that. But nonetheless, it's not going to stop us. We're going to take this TRP for, for a test drive here and see how she shoots. So let's get to this. All right, here we go. TRP, Springfield. Now I can't help myself. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm a trainer as you know, so when it comes to a gun with a manual safety, 1911 or otherwise, you gotta get used to taking that safety off when it comes parallel to the ground and back on. If you don't take the safety off every time this comes parallel to the ground, it's never gonna happen in real life. So let's get back to the review. Now I'd like to normally do some, uh, kind of test it out, see how we can do some tactical stuff uh, as far as reloads. Not so much ta tactical, just getting it in quick. But again, I don't want to drop these uh, bags in the snow here. This is a gun that's on loan, and I really appreciate uh, that they, they let me use this for this review. So we're going to take really good care of it. But typically, uh, this or mine, we would be making sure we can do all the uh, tactical stuff with it. And the one nice thing about it is that magwell pretty good sized bevel on it. So now we're going to uh, move back and see what kind of range. Let's stretch this old girl's legs a little bit. Alright, so now we move back to uh, the 25 yard mark here. And I gotta, I gotta be honest, uh, you know, I'm a nine, I'm a nine guy by, by far. This feels very much like a nine. I mean, it is a really soft recoil for a 45. Uh, I, really, I, if you told me it was 9 millimeter, I wouldn't, you wouldn't know the difference. Alright, so 25 yards. Well, that were 7 out of 7 on that one. Let's uh, let's keep moving back. One of the things, uh, other impression of the gun is the stippling here is extremely aggressive. I mean, 
Uh, my hands are really cold right now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I can really feel that digging in. I'm going to try to show you the other side. Back here. Uh, obviously fantastic for, uh, you know, your hands. Uh, sweaty, bloody, or muddy. This is going to be fantastic. But they are, you know they're there. They, that, that is aggressive as heck. So we move back now to the 50-yard uh, the mark. Let's see what, uh, see what we got. Not bad at all. We moved back to 70 yards now. That's uh, pretty much all I got here as far as range goes. So let's see. 70 yards. <clears throat> Springfield Army TRP. Here we go. We're back up a little bit closer now, seven yards. Let's do some, uh, I got just three rounds left. What the heck, let's uh, let this little sing a little bit here. Well, uh, awesome gun. I, I, what else can I say? I mean, we put rounds at uh, 70 yards in the freezing cold. Shoots, like I said, it it's, feels like a nine. It really does. Trigger is fantastic on it. It does have adjustable sights. I mean, we could, I would be super confident 100 yards with some time adjusting those sights a little bit, I, I would uh, I'd be very confident that distance. So the gun is phenomenal. Uh, it'll, it'll reach any distance you want, close up, long distance. Feels really good in the hand. It's very rough, very aggressive, no doubt. That, uh, that aggressive texture, you, you're going to feel that. But uh, it's going to be there when you need it. Magazines fly out of the gun. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, rounds on target at 70 yards in the cold. That gun is amazing. I don't know how much I can say about that. So if you're into 1911s and that's your deal, the TRP by Springfield Armory is a killer setup. I would recommend it, no questions asked. Uh, you can look up the MSRP and wherever you're going to go to buy it because, of course, prices are going to change. And I don't know how long this video is going to be there. Hopefully a long time. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. You can now find us on Facebook, Instagram, and, of course, here. Subscribe, you'll be notified every time I put a new video out if you haven't already. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.